Hello everybody and welcome to another tutorial video for VAST. In this video I want to show you how you can proofread an automatic segmentation. So I have loaded in a electromicroscopic data set here for which we do have an automatic segmentation, um, which I can show. So it looks like this. You can see that um, everything has been colored in automatically. However, there are some errors in the segmentation. So for example, over here you can see that this organelle should be actually part of the cell or well, here these objects and they aren't so there are splits in the data set things that should be one object are several objects and there are also a few merges which means that there are objects which consist of several objects but they have become segmented as one single object so <coughs> if you want to proofread this you have to do two different tasks so one is to split objects that are erroneously merged and also to merge objects that are that are erroneously split. So this data set, as you can see, consists of 8,152 segments and I loaded this in as a segmentation layer. So since we can have up to 65,000 segments for this small data set, we can load all segments in. So now what you can do if you want to proofread this is to take segments and then to collect them into folders. So I will demonstrate how to do that. For this, we have this collect tool up here. It, it says collect segment mode. Um, so what I will do first is I will make a new segment here. Add segment as next sibling. And I will call this one done. So this will be a folder where we put all the objects that we have proofread. So to start proofreading, we'll just go in and we select some object, some random object, for example this one. And um, one good way of dealing with this, if you want to be, make sure that you have segmented everything in the end, you use your done folder and the first thing you do is you go to collect mode and you collect the segment you want to work with into the done folder by clicking it. So you can see it has now been moved into this folder over here. Next, you can selectively view only the selected segments or subsegment trees. So right now, done doesn't have anything painted, and the imported segment is just one segment. So if I enable cell alpha and I disable alpha up here in the toolbar, you can see um, only one object is being highlighted. So now what I'm going to do is to check whether this is correct or not, just by scrolling through. And if you enable the um, option that you can reduce the scroll speed while scrolling with a mouse wheel. Um, you can reduce the speed at which you're viewing this. So you see I can speed this up or down to make sure that I don't miss any problem. So this looks like it's a dendrite. Um, there's a synapse here, for example. If we go down to this end, you can see that right here there's a branch coming off that disappears, but it is actually a spine, and the spine head is right here. So we can collect that into this object. We select the object as the target, and then we click the spine head. So now this has been collected. So originally it's a, well, it is still a different segment, but it is appearing as the same color because it's inside this folder, and the folder is closed. So if I open the folder, you can see the original segment color. Now you can see where it was split and it's now part of the same folder here. So we have, I think, corrected this one object. So now we can choose another one. We go again to the done folder, we select some object, move it over into the done folder. So let's select this axon here. I know it's an axon because it has vesicles in it. So now this has been moved into the done folder. Um, now I'm following that one. Looks like it's fine over here. Let's go to the other side. And looks okay. Well, there's a little bit of problem here, but I don't mind about that right now. So next one, let's take this one. Oh, okay, so this looks like it's a spiny dendrite and it's a larger object. So I want to actually only show that. To do that, I just select this object. So now you don't see the other things that are labeled anymore, which you see if the done folder is selected, right? So everything that is inside that folder is being shown. So if I select this, nothing is nothing else is shown because this doesn't have any children. 
So now I have to check whether this is all correct. So you see there are spines on it, go all the way, all the way to one end. Here's one spine that looks fine. Another spine, this looks E. I think this all looks okay, or oh, good enough at least. Okay, next one. Select an object, uh, select the done folder, select the object you want to proofread. Let's choose this thing that also looks like a spine. Okay, that is ending pretty quickly because it's mostly outside the volume. Okay, let's go to this object. So that looks quite large. Um, so again, if I just select this object, everything else disappears because now just this subfolder is being shown. <coughs> So and you can see that right here, there's a spine that goes over here and then it's not labeled. So I will collect that. Again, I'm collecting it into the folder of this segment and it becomes a child of the segment and shows up in the same color if the folder is closed. So I have to go through and here's another problem. See this? Should be continuing here. And now we have another type of problem here, which is a merger. So maybe you can see that there is this object that comes here and then becomes green and then it stops being green here and continues as a different object. So this should actually not be part of this dendrite because that looks like an axon to me and it's not actually connected. There's a, there's a membrane between. So now what I just showed you so far is how you merge different objects into one. Or at least you collect them and then we can merge them afterwards. But in this case we actually have to perform a split. So we have to recolor this object with some new color, or maybe we can use the color that it has here. And then relabel it so that it becomes a different object than that. So right now, I think it's actually, so 851 here is the spine that I added. And then this object is also 851, which it shouldn't be, it's the axon. <coughs> so I will correct that by painting. Um, once you paint, you have to make sure that you are at the uh, desired MIP level. So for the collecting, it doesn't matter, but for painting, it does matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another segment because we want to split this off as a different color. So I say add segment as child. And now it's a little bit complicated because I want to see both the parent and the child. And if I select the child, then I wouldn't see the parent anymore like this I can kind of do it so this is the object that I want to keep and then this is the object I want to relabel I made this a child and this will be our new color so that I can use the parent mode so I set the parent here this will allow me to paint only the parent color with the new color so if I paint here and I'm at mid level zero so that's fine you can see that it will now relabel everything that I paint to the new selected child color. And I have to define with this mode where the boundary should be between these two objects, at least for the duration during which they touch. So let's say like this. Let's switch this off again, select this, and now you can see that the two objects that should be different colors are now mostly different colors, except here it continues being 851. So I want to have this also, this new color. And to do that, let's see. To do that, I'm, I mean, you can still overpaint like, like the whole thing like this, but that's a lot of work. So you can also use filling. So I'm going to select the fill mode here. And just in the standard way, it is set up to fill in the same layer. So um, there are ways to fill from one layer to another, but right now we're just working in one segmentation layer. So what I want to do is take this new color and fill everything that's connected with um, in the old color with the new color. So here this is the previous segment, and then this is the segment that I want to fill it with. If I just click once here, you can see it all became purple. And if I now select this again and I single it out, you can now see that it has been recolored in purple all the way. So I have to first separate the 
objects manually, maybe by painting as I did. Um, at the location where I want to introduce a boundary and then I can fill the other parts. So now since I did that, now I have two separate objects here, which is fine. So I can take this object I just made and I put that as a separate object in my done folder and I'm going to continue briefly here by um, finishing up this object again by collecting because it continues in a different color. So I'm going to collect that color. As you can see, it has now a child, which is the collected color. So that this is going to be completed. Yeah, I don't worry about this little piece. Go to the other side and again, you can see that this jumps here. I think this is one of the reasons why we have these splits. The alignment is not perfect. So this object is now continuing here until there and that looks okay. If you want to make this perfect, you could could go in with painting and, and correct that. Um, maybe there is some color there. Let's see. There's some color there which is actually actually maybe a separate color. So I could just uh, collect that in as well. So I just choose that, collect this, and close this folder so it appears purple again. And you can see that it's a little bit better cleaned up right now. Okay, so let's forget about this one and go back to the one that we were working on. So I fixed this spine uh, merger. And there is another split here. So you can see that. So that's fine. That's the end of this dendrite, uh, this dendritic spine. And then this dendritic spine actually continues here. And it's also not part of the object, but it should be. So I'm collecting it. And let's zoom out again. So that looks fine. Maybe there is a little bit of a problem here. Maybe we should split that off too, but I'll just forget about that for now. And yeah, and then it continues here. So that should also be part of it. So I collect that. This is actually connected. Here's another spine that needs to be part of it. I collect that. And this. Okay, so you can, of course, spend more time on this and really make it perfect. And also you can use painting if you don't like the placement of the boundaries. But let's say we, we are happy with this and now we want to actually have this a single object rather than a collection of objects that we put in a single folder. So you can see there are three objects here, this one, this one, this one, um, that we have merged, or at least that we collected. So now we want to make these single objects. So there's a function to do that in here. You select a folder, and then you close the folders that you want to have become a single object. So all of these are closed. And then you go to Menu, Weld Collapse Segments in Subtree. So this will go to the subtree only that is selected. It will look at all the segments that are in there, and if they have several subsegments and the folder is closed, then it will make that a single segment. If the folder is open, it, it wouldn't. So those objects would stay separate. So I'm going to apply this now, weld collapse segments and subtree. And it's asking me if, if I really want to do that, and I say yes. So now it is going through the whole data set and it finds all the pixels that are um, labeled colors that are within these folders. Then we numbers them all to the parent folder and then deletes the children. So once it's done with that, you will see that all these folders now have become single objects. So it went through and, and really welded them into single objects, which corrects all the splits that we corrected. And um, so you can see that with these methods, you can go through all the segments in an automatic segmentation and then collect the objects that are split. And you can use manual painting and filling to separate objects that are merged. And uh, you would collect everything that you're done with in this done folder. So you know now how much of the data set you have corrected and what remains to be done. So in this manner, you can really make sure that you correct everything.